the commander of the U.S. Navy's 7th Fleet condemned China's aggressive behavior in the South China Sea and said its actions must be challenged and checked. Reuters reported that on August 27th, Vice Admiral Carl Thomas criticized China's Coast Guard for firing a water cannon at a Philippine vessel earlier this month. Thomas said the U.S. shared challenges in the region and backed the Philippines, saying, My forces are out here for a reason. He said, You have to challenge people, I would say, operating in a gray zone. When they're taking a little bit more and more and pushing you, you've got to push back. You have to sail and operate. The 7th Fleet is the U.S. Navy's largest fleet, with as many as 70 warships, 150 aircraft, and over 27,000 sailors. The fleet is based in Japan and operates over a vast area of 124 million square kilometers, from bases in Japan, South Korea, and Singapore. He added, There's really no better example of aggressive behavior than the activity on August 5th on the Shoal. On August 5th, a Chinese Coast Guard ship fired a water cannon at a Philippine boat, transporting supplies to troops stationed on a warship, intentionally grounded on a shoal in the South China Sea. In the latest development, last week, two Philippine ships managed to breach a Chinese Coast Guard blockade in a dangerous encounter, as they escorted the supply boats to deliver food to Filipino forces defending a shoal. At least four Chinese Coast Guard ships blocked two Philippine Coast Guard vessels, for about five hours in the tense standoff near 2nd Thomas Shoal. China claims much of the South China Sea that overlaps the exclusive economic zones of many countries in Southeast Asia, including Brunei, Malaysia, Indonesia, the Philippines, and Vietnam. Beijing has also militarized these disputed islands by building runways and arming them with anti-ship and anti-aircraft missile systems.